Hello bakers, today we are starting a part 2 of our tutorial series from beginner to a professional 3D artist. I'm going to talk about what kind of element constructs all the 3D objects. This is a beginner's tutorial, so if you think that you are already more into intermediate or advanced level, I suggest you to tune in tomorrow and check my speed modeling video. In this video I'll be talking a little bit more about 3D models and also more about the technical aspect behind them. I've created this uh, simple cube from the primitives on the side and I want to tell you what are the elements that are every 3D asset has. First before starting with all the elements I want to tell you about few shortcuts that are very useful inside 3ds Max. First is F3. F3 shows wireframe, this way we can see all the edges of our 3D model. and the other one is F4, you can see that I can toggle the edges on top while we still see the surface. In order to see all the elements of this box, I need first to right click, go to convert to and I'll convert it to an editable poly. What this does is allows us to interact with the individual elements that create the whole box. Here on the top we can see that there are a couple of different types of selections. First one is vertex. Then we have Edge, Border, Polygon and Element. Every 3D object is constructed from vertices. If I click it, you can see that there are these small dots that appear. Those are the vertices. Then we have Edges. These are all the edges of the object. These are all the lines that goes from one vertex to another. And Polygons. Polygons are the surfaces that are being created from three or more edges. You're probably wondering, but what are the other two elements? The other two elements are more of a group, which just helps you select faster different things. If I go on border and I try to click somewhere on our model, you can see that I'm not able to select anything. But if I go on polygon and select the top, click delete, I delete this polygon. Now I can go and select the whole border. It's very easy to select whenever we have an open model, all the edges in this area and after that modified it. Let me go back. Element is something that if I click on the model, you can see that I've selected everything. This is because our model at the moment is a very simple one and it's being constructed just by one element. But for example, if we have a tire and we have all the bolts on the tire, the rim is going to be one element, then all the individual bolts are going to be separate elements. And by using this, we can easily select the different parts. Thank you for joining me today. Like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the other parts of this series.